year 2022, prophetic watch service. Um, year 2022 is so important. How you live is so important when you go into 2022. You just can't do anything because we are at the point where those who are here, so you're going to know who's his and who's not here. Who's saved, who's not saved, who's doing right, who's not doing right. It's going to be real vivid on this year. And your mouth would have to be very pathetic this year. Your heart would have to be right. And thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. We want to get to the point of this year where his will will be done consciously. Ask yourself, are you really doing his will on this coming year? Just continue to stay focused and allow God to use you on this year because you have to go to a new place in him. As you see the stairway, we want to go up. We want to go high. You want to go. We want his kingdom to come. So we want to go into his holy of holies to a new place in him. And time is very important. Can you see me? Um, Revelation 17, 14, these will make war with the lamb and the lamb will overcome them for he is the Lord of lords and the king of kings and those who are with him are called chosen and faithful. He will show himself as being the Lord of lords and the king of kings on this year. Also, you have to pay attention on this year, um, 2022, what the will of the Lord is. You have to pay attention and really try to stay focused this year just to, so you will be doing what the Lord will is for your life. We want to know what time it is. We need to know what season it is. We need to pay attention to know, hallelujah, what it is that the Lord is calling forth for us to do on this coming year. So you're going to have to pay attention. As you can see, um, the army men, how they stand, and they stand in attention. So in order to stand in attention, you have to be listening on this. Listen for the word of the Lord. Listen for what God is trying to reveal unto you. Listen to what season it is and what it is that he's calling forth for us to do. This is a time to stay focused. Year 2022, you have to be focused because there's going to be many things that happen through this year and there will be some changes where things will shift to become better, but you have to stay focused and really um, listen to what the Lord is saying. It says, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness and everything will be added. So this is not the year to focus on um, your whole focus on money and all these things of the world, the, the focus have to be on the Lord to see what he's doing and where he's bringing us to in order to walk through the different things that are happening up on the earth. You have to stay focused to him. Timing is very important this year. Uh, be careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. Time does not stop for no one. Um, you can't stop time and you can't slow it down. But you can turn around by redeeming the time. Ephesians 5, 16 says redeeming the time because the days are evil which also NIV making the most of every opportunity. So you can't slow. If you was looking at the hourglass, the hourglass, you can't stop that. It's going to continue to come down. It's time continues to move forward. It continues to move forward. But the only way they wait, like I said, is to redeem the time. Luke 21, 36, watch ye therefore and pray always that you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the son of man. So this is a time and season where we also have to watch and we have to pray because many things are going to happen, but we have to watch and pray, pray for our families, pray for those that are lost, pray for this earth, pray for the things that are happening on the earth, pray for our government. Intercessory prayer is important, praying for others and not just for yourself on this year. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof the world and they that dwell in it. For he have found, found it up on the seas and established it upon the floods. So we have to um, pray because the earth is the Lord's 
And it's not this world. And what they tell us about what, what to do and what not to do and what we should have. Not, no, the earth is the Lord. So we listen to the Lord on what he wants us to do. On, even on this year, we have to do that. We have to shift also to another place just to go higher. We have to go to another place in him, not staying stagnated where you are, but constantly seeking him, constantly going from glory to glory. And this is time to get into alignment with God. Um, this year, my mind, this in my mind, body, and spirit are in divine alignment. We want all our whole mind, body, and spirit to be in alignment with Him, not just our our, our body where we just showing, okay, um, I'm in alignment. No, our mind, our body, and our spirit have to be in alignment with God, alignment with His wills, His plan, and His purposes. Also transform into um, the same image from glory to glory. This is from the Lord who is the spirit. Corinthians, um, 2 Corinthians 3.18, we go from glory to glory. Then your light shall come. Then your light will break forth like the dawn and your healing will quickly appear on this year. Then your righteousness will go before you and the glory of the Lord will be your real God. This year is the year of dominion. You would have dominion this year. Genesis 1.26, then God said, let us make man in our image according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. This is a year of dominion. Also a year, also a year to have kingdom authority. Uh, this is the message from the one who is holy and true, the one who has the key of David. What he opens, no man can close, and what he closes, no man can open. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. So this is a year to also trust God. Trust God with your life. Trust God with your family. Trust God with your finances. We must trust him and, and realize that no matter what happens on the earth, nothing shall by any means hurt us. Um, a lot of people from last year walk in, in a lot of unforgiveness, but this year is a year to, to forgive. God wants us to forgive. Forgive others as quickly as you expect God to forgive you. Forgive others and you will be forgiven. Luke 6, 37. It's also a year of suddenlies. Another year, a season of suddenlies. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of rushing mighty wind, and it filled the house where they were sitting, and there appeared unto them tongues of cloven tongues like as of fire, and it sat upon each of them. So the glory of the Lord filled each one of them. Um, and this is a year where you will see a greater glory. Also, creative miracles this year. Um, also, they would try to control the weather to a greater degree. They always try, they already trying to control the weather, but they're going to take it to a greater degree of trying to control the weather. Um, also, be not deceived. God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man sow, that shall he also reap. So, Whatever you sow this year, you're going to reap it. Also, work out your own salvation. So then, my beloved, just as you have always said, but obey, not, as my pre not in my presence only, but now much more in my absence. Work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Also, the Lord knows the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and to not harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. This year, the Lord has plans for you. He's going to prosper you, but that's in his, in, in timing. That's in timing. Also, Ephesians 4, 5, one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. It doesn't matter. If you look at that, you see different clocks. It doesn't matter what country you stay in. 
where you stay is still, you still on God's timing. You still on God's timing. And he's in his one Lord, one faith and one baptism. Also 20, I looked up 20 and, 20 and 22, and it means redemption, light, cycles of completion, double, chaos, mountain and hills, and unite. And it is your turn. It's your turn to do what the Lord has called you to do on this year. Do not hesitate. Do not focus on other people, what they're doing. It's your turn to do what you're called to do. Okay, for the King's Court, I just heard change, greatness, Miracles, signs, and wonders. Also, kingdom minister, united, subdue, reorganize, faithfulness, grace and favor, greater anointing, and peace. For kingdom men and women of divine purpose and destiny, grace and favor, peace and love, reward for your labor. Okay, thank you.